boom 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 let's go hi everyone today i will turn this boring ass s-log image into this cool awesome cinematic shot in davinci resolve but first of all i would like to tell you that i'm not a pro colorist i just do things on my own I will only explain my color grading methods that I have learned over time because I'm still learning and exploring new stuff inside DaVinci Resolve and this is what I really love about it. Even though I can do most of the stuff, it still feels like there's so much more that I have to learn and explore. Anyway, let's move on to DaVinci and get started. Alright, I'm going to use this footage of my girlfriend on a ferry for this tutorial because it has skin tone, different kind of colors, blues, sky color. That's why I picked this footage. First of all, I attack Alt S on the keyboard and create a bunch of nodes and then I put them into groups one below the other. I use this first set of nodes to do all the coloring work, all the adjustments, white balance, primaries and everything. I use all my effects on the second group of nodes, that's how I use them. I start by adding my color space transform on my fourth node because I will make my pre-adjustments on these nodes. Let's name it CTS. So what the hell is color space transform? Color space transform feature allows you to adjust the color space and gamma of your footage. It is particularly useful when you are working with different camera footages or sources that use different color spaces. By transforming your color space, you can ensure color consistency throughout your video clip. However, in order to use this effect, you need to know what settings you shot on your camera. In my case, I shot this clip on Sony a7S 3 so my input color space is S Gamut 3 Cine. My input gamma is S Log 3. For the output color space, I will choose Rig 709. And for my output gamma, I will choose Gamma 2.4. If you go to your project settings, you will see your timeline color space under color management. So mine is Gamma 2.4. That's why I chose Gamma 2.4 for my output gamma. Let's move on. We have some color, but this is only a starting point. Now I will go to my second node and start playing with my primaries, my gain, my gamma and my lift. Let's name our node. Now I will adjust the light settings, bring the highlights and shadows to the point where I want, but with very small changes. Like this, bring down the gamma, bring down the lift. I also crank up the contrast, 1.2 is okay. This is before, this is after, before, after. I also want to increase color boost for the less saturated parts. Now I move on to my first note and adjust my white balance. This was shot on a very sunny day, so I would like my image to be a little bit warmer, maybe around 80 yeah 80 is okay for now before and after in note 3 my goal is to bring out the color a little bit more i use curve tool i also increase saturation a little bit let's bring down the shadows like this then i will raise my highlights and mid tones i'm just trying to create an s curve before after this is before, this is after. Even with these very little changes, our image is looking a lot, a lot better. I will also increase the saturation around here. 58, 57, 58, yeah. This is before, this is after. Just wow. From now on, we can proceed with our effects, but I think I forgot one note. And that is actually an important one, which is our look node. And I put my look node between my CTS and curves. For my look, I will try to create a color contrast with my offset and gamma. I will push my offset towards blue and my gamma between red and orange. Something like this before, after, uh, maybe a little bit more. 
this is before, this is after. Okay, yeah, this one is definitely better. That's how I create a color contrast. We can move on to our effects. First of all, I like to use the haze. But be careful with this effect, don't max out its strength. Otherwise, your image will look too saturated. Just blend it with your footage. We just need a subtle color saturation. One of my favorite effect is, of course, glow. Let's drop that. I will lower the threshold and crank up the spread. And then I will change its composite type to soft light. Then readjust the threshold. Yeah, this is before, this is after. It gives soft but very contrast look. I kind of like it around here. Let's rename it. Let's call it glow. Now we can move on to our next effect and that is halation. I really like this one, but again, subtle. I don't want to go overboard with the most of my effects. I will play around with the threshold and its strength. I want to barely see the effect, kind of like this. And now I want to add one more thing. Let's add a film grain and change it to 500T. I don't know if you can see because of the YouTube compression, but this is before, this is after. Let's name it Film Grain. Well, we can leave it like this, but before I close the video, I would like to share one more thing. If you don't like a certain color in your image, you can change it by using the Color Warper tool. You will simply click on the color that you don't like or you want to change. For example, I didn't like this area. I will take this around here, drop its saturation, maybe give it a greenish look. This is before, this is after. It gives so much value. And I think this is a really helpful tool. Yeah, I think that's about it. Let's go through one by one and see what we did from start to finish. First, I added the CTS and then I went to my primaries. I adjusted the white balance. After that, I went to my curves and saturation and my look. So far, our general color grading is ready. And then I added my effects, the haze, glow, halation and film grain. With all the effects, we made it much more appealing. So this is how I generally go through my S-Log footage. I hope you learned something new. I can't say that it's perfect, but uh, I think it's not that bad. Let me know what you think. As I mentioned before, I'm still learning and exploring new things and I plan to continue sharing them here. It would be very helpful if you subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care.